All right, so starting off with our Walmart haul, I'm hoping this is gonna take us well into February, like middle of February, only needing to pick up things like milk, produce, and everything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with, I love the OxyClean. This is the stain remover. This one is my favorite. I've got a bottle and I just refill it all the time. For Snyx, we did get some Nutty Buddies. Oh my gosh, these are life, they are amazing. I did pick up some Zote, I think is how you say it, or I don't know how you say it, to be honest with y'all. Um, but, I'm, but I'm gonna be making uh, my own laundry detergent and you need like a cup of this. So I did pick up this for like a dollar, not even 98 cents or something. So this can just go downstairs with the laundry stuff. Uh, I did pick up some of these mixes. They're like 92 cents. So I used to love getting blueberry cheesecake. I used to get it years and years ago. So I picked up some of those. Youngest loves blueberry muffins. My son likes chocolate chip muffins and so does Haley when she comes over and then I love banana nut bread and I thought this would be great for the times that maybe I don't have uh, bananas or whatever so picked all this stuff up again it's going to be like a pantry restock and then my backup pantry restock on a lot of this stuff to hopefully just like I said be able to just get through February or majority of February I like to put the Italian dressings like as a marinade for our chicken and I saw a recipe where people were mixing barbecue sauce and Italian dressing so I thought I'd figure I'd try it out uh, I went ahead and picked up an extra creamy peanut butter this is a honey roasted one it was only a dollar something y'all I've been price comparison shopping and a lot of the times this for example is you get more and it's less expensive at Walmart than it is at Aldi's. So went ahead and picked up pasta sauces. I needed a backup of my cornbread and I wanted to, you know, get us some Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix. I thought that would be delicious. Another thing that I found that was less expensive is this is a dupe for Bisquick and it's just Walmart's version. So I went ahead, picked that up, restocked on our pasta because I did use a couple boxes. I did not do a grocery haul last week. So this has been, it's been two weeks since we've done a grocery haul and grocery shopping. So went ahead and stocked up on some of this. This one is my favorite. It is, y'all just need to try it. One of y'all did ask to see like the nutritional value and I don't know, maybe I can like edit a close up for y'all so y'all can see that, I don't know. But as far as the carbs, it does say it has 42 carbs with five dietary fibers, soluble fi fibers are four, insoluble is one, sugars is two, protein is seven. And like I was telling you all, this has pro or prebiotic in it. And for whatever reason, when we eat it, it does not like feel heavy on your stomach. It's just delicious. I did get some of my water enhancers. This at Walmart, less expensive now than Aldi. Aldi's prices are really going up. I thought I'd try this out. My thought process on this was uh, I could just maybe put some Skyline chili over top of it. If, if you know, you know. If you're not from Kentucky, Ohio, you, you probably don't do chili and pasta. But anywho, I don't know. I was feeling like I needed some treats. Feeling on the bougie side, went with some Dove. I will tell you, Dove versus Hershey. And if you tell me Hershey makes this, I'm going to die. But these don't hurt my teeth, but a Hershey candy bar hurts my teeth. I don't know why. In case I forgot to tell you all, I did get some rice a -roni. It was a dollar under a dollar so I figured I'd try it out just for like something different than plain white rice or putting salsa in rice over here we've got all the cold stuff now the trick when it comes to online shopping to have your delivery your order delivered to you I have found sometimes to just for example let's just start off with the meat I scored big time on meat we were getting low especially on chicken chicken is super super hard to come by right now so you're gonna see I have two different kinds of chicken the reason I did that is when I put in my initial order they were out of this chicken so and they were running low on they had three five and ten pound bags of chicken breast 
So I went ahead and put this in my cart. Hoping this would come back in case this went out of stock. You see what I'm saying? You kind of have to play the game. And then if you get to score two of them, it's like, woo-woo, you know? I mean, that at least that's my thought process because, like I was telling y'all, whether we get a Kroger's, Target, Aldi, Walmart, like, chicken is just really hard to come by, and the price of chicken is insane. So I was able to get this whole thing of chicken for 11 23 and I will break this into two and I'll get like two meals out of it I've been doing more of like pastas casseroles and things like that where before we used to do like chicken breast for our main meal and then sides to go with it but COVID kind of screwed things up so I don't do those kind of meals as much anymore but I'll implement them here and there uh, this is a 10, 10 pound bag of boneless skinless chicken breast so I will bag that up separately and hopefully I'll get at least four meals I'm hoping out of that maybe more uh, this the ground beef I know this is not everybody's forte to get it in like these little things but it's just budget friendly for us so we roll with it um, and this is less expensive than at Aldi now so yeah went ahead and picked up four I think I accidentally have one left in my cart coming with my Aldi order today my Aldi order is like super inexpensive because I spent my budget pretty much at Walmart so anyways picked up four of those again this was less expensive at Walmart than at Aldi and I like this Butterball brand turkey sausage better than at Aldi so yay got four of those uh this was less expensive than at aldi as well i think this is this may be like a pork tenderloin or something like that it was only 668 and it normally is about seven to eight dollars at aldi when i instacart i love to have these little nestle townhouse cookie doughs on hand like for example Haley was over last night and i had made dinner and then for dessert i had some of these and I was getting low so picked up some more of those I plan on making some like Italian type of sandwich uh, this week for dinner so I wanted to have some salami another thing that's hard to come by is these bags of a uh, salad so these are only 92 cents at Walmart so I snagged that uh, I've seen a lot of people in their grocery hauls saying how good the chicken strips are at Walmart. I was only able to get one bag, but I thought for lunches for the kids this would be something good. Or those nights I'm really tired and don't feel like doing dinner, then boom. I used to get these all the time from my kids. These are the little smiley uh, potato fries, I guess you call them. They used to love them. And then I had stopped shopping at Walmart. And Walmart was the only place I could find them. So, anyways, we have those. Now, I did get a family size, which is, like, ginormous. This feeds all of us uh, of the ravioli, but they were out. So, they substituted it and gave me four bags of this, which I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that works for me. Uh, then, I saw, this was an insane deal. This was, like, $3 and change for their seasoned fries i'm assuming they're gonna taste like rallies or something so if y'all don't have rallies maybe arby's like that seasoned type of fry so i picked that up to try out it's four pounds we needed cleaner bottles somehow this part of our cleaner bottles broke these were only 90 some cents so it's less expensive than at amazon so i was like score uh you saw the two bags of the family size tortellini y'all mmm so they were out the last time I went to place my order for the hip chip ice cream sandwiches. My youngest loves these. I tried to substitute and get the Kroger version of them. Horrible, hated them. Like they're getting through them, but like not a fan. So they're like, please don't ever do that again. Well, let's stick with Walmarts. So picked up three of those that those need to last until February. Uh, I got some of these buttermilk biscuits. These are always good if you make like a crock pot chicken and dumplings and you use this as the dumplings I like it so anyways then grab and go for breakfast I know I've got the bisquick but this is sometimes 10 times easier obviously you just pop it in the toaster and 
the price has gone up but it's still less expensive than at Aldi or at Kroger. I like to use this for casseroles. These are just the biscuits and I also like to make pretzels out of them and I may film that for y'all. This was like a hope, a wish, and a dream. Uh, this is the Zero Sugar Caramel Macchi Macchiato. I went ahead and put two in my cart assuming they'd probably go out pretty quick because what I did is I placed this one order like on a Friday and scheduled it for Monday so I was really kind of playing with fire there but I was able to get both of them so one will go in back up I think that's everything for my Walmart haul y'all all right so yeah it looks like this is gonna be my Walmart haul for this week pushing it into February like I said the only thing I should need to pick up again is some produce and maybe some milk other than that, I'm hoping to be totally okay with the meat situation because I do have some in backup and I needed to replace that. And a lot of that is, you know, backup. So I do have an Aldi order that will be coming in. So when that comes in, I will hop on here and show you all that. Okay, it is not even like... 11 o'clock and I've got my Aldi order so this one was this one was really small I just did another bag of sweet potatoes they're $1.99 for like three pounds so I got that I got a thing of cottage cheese because with those raviolis uh, that you saw from my Walmart haul I actually want to make like a ravioli lasagna so I went ahead and picked that up I'm not I don't like the texture of ricotta I know my Italian sisters and brothers out there chill out calm down it's just a me thing okay so yeah I have to do cottage cheese um, I love their version of the Hawaiian sweet rolls uh, so went ahead and picked that up it's only a dollar fifty five versus getting the actual name brand I did accidentally keep this in my cart didn't mean to like I said it was less expensive for the exact same 8515 at Walmart this is my favorite creamer very inexpensive price is going up but I was excited because again you saw earlier in today's video that I was able to get uh, the caramel macchiato or however you say it so got that I got I didn't pull all of them out of the bag but 22 25 of these these are actually my son's favorite flavor they were out of the pineapple coconut so I said well just go ahead and give us the black raspberry please and so they did and uh, yeah so he's gonna be really excited and then this fair life that's the milk that I use it's lactose free and I really like it and I can cook with it and everything with no issues okay guys I'm cutting in because I just unboxed my pioneer woman it's a little canister set and look how cute this is it just opens up it's got a butterfly oh we got a helper thank you another butterfly and then so I think this one was like $18 and I'm gonna put candy in there stackable so you can stack them oh my goodness okay let's do that carefully there you go good job kid so I thought they were really cute and so this was my little gift to myself for the month and I love it I'll, I'll link the set down below like I said all three pieces are like $18 and change one thing I want to tell y'all hold on let me let me turn around one thing I want to tell you all when it comes to Walmart and Pioneer Woman they change the prices all the time so one minute um, this may be $18 and change but it could go up to $24.97 or something like that so anyways just always keep an eye out I always put in there uh, clearance pioneer woman my, my, my kids are here and so that's the noises so anyways y'all trying to get away <laughs> all right so I did order some stuff from Costco um, every time I use a block of cheese I always like to restock so we have like four in backup now but I should be good again until February picked up some water that I'll probably have to get more of because we go through about one of these a week do you think a close amount I mean that's the one well okay two weeks and then I am making my own laundry detergent but I love to use the Lysol sanitizer I just feel like it really 
kills cold and flu viruses. So I picked up three of these because at Costco, they are less expensive than at Kroger or Walmart or Amazon, what have you. So now that is everything until February. I hope but anyways look how cute yeah you can't see it look how cute my little pioneer woman dish is and they're over here as well so anyways y'all that is everything for today's grocery haul my little clip it snippet of my pioneer woman new piece for the month and hope y'all enjoyed the video all right now it's time for new lashes oh yeah I'm getting my lash fill right now all right y'all I will catch y'all in the next video kiss from Kentucky say bye Haley still has the mask for like the next four days, so. <laughs>